Hello everyone, welcome to part five of From Manor to Glory. And we're back here at Oxford United, trying to go from the uh, League One, where we currently are, right up to the Premier League. And again, you might notice some changes. Uh, since the last time we recorded part four to part five, I'm using a different skin. The main reason why I'm using this new skin basically is because um, on the match day screen I like to actually see the full team names and not the abbreviation forms which I find is a bit off-putting for me but that's just my personal choice. Uh, the skin I'm using by the way let's just promote the skin is the mosaic skin I got this off from um, FM Scout it's worth looking at if you like this skin then please go to FM Scout and get it. Um, so let's see what's happened um, not much has happened since the last um, the last update we've actually played Sunderland and this was a bit cruel actually we were 3-1 up 3-1 up with um, 90 minutes gone and as you can see on the right hand side there they scored two late 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 goals in the 94th minute and the 91st minute we dominated that game um, but we drew 3 all. again we are trying a different formation um, I've as you notice, I'm trying other formations from other people just to see if they are just as good as they stated they are. The formation we're using now is another nap formation. This is the uh, the walkway tactic. The I can't even say that penicillin walkway tactic. I suppose that's how you say it. Just to see what this tactic is like. Uh, we dominated against Sunderland. I think we had 17 shots to their three, and they scored three goals in their three shots. Typical FM, as you may say. So we're just going to see how uh, we're going to get on uh, here in part five. Here in part five, we are going to go straight to a league game, league cup game against Peterborough United. Um, I thought I want to show you how this game happens, how this formation does. So we're just going to go through all these little screens first and we get to the Peterborough game. Uh, we've had a couple of players going out injured and there seems to be Agri and Winnell. Winnell, who um, is injury prone when Oxford bought him in real life. So I'm, he's only played a few games for us. So I think he's actually scored a goal. But we've got a bit of an injury crisis happening now. There's Winnell, he's out for about two weeks. Um, yeah, but... We're trying to uh, get through all this. Uh, one thing I did do actually is what actually happened in real life. Uh, Joel Cooper, Joel Cooper, our Northern Ireland uh, uh, midfielder, he uh, has actually gone back to Linfield in real life on loan. He's actually going back to Linfield in January. By the time we're doing this recording, January was only two, three days away. So I thought I might as well do um, send him over to Linfield now. Um, I think the reason is he's got homesick and with the pandemic going on at the moment, it makes perfect sense he wants to go back and be with his family. So he's going over, he's gone back over to Linfield on loan for the rest of the season. So I managed to put that in. Other than that, there's been no more transfers or anything like that. So let's go straight to the Peterborough game. So we're in the third round of the League Cup. Um, I recommend getting after in his professional contract. Oh yeah, he's not that brilliant. Um, as always, when I do my saves here, I'm currently doing my Orkney stream save, stream stroke YouTube series. So I'm still thinking like I'm a real lower league manager at the moment, but I have to now turn into a different type of manager because I'm Oxford. Oxford obviously are much bigger than uh, Orkney. So we're going to try this new formation again. Um, they're thinking that we're going to, this is going to be quite a tight game against Peterborough. Um, if we do beat Peterborough in the cup, we're going to the fourth round, which will be amazing. Uh, this is the formation again, then we're using the 4-2-3-1 formation. Hopefully this will do well for us. Um, if we look at the current players, let's look at, see if they're making any changes. Emery was injured. Uh, he's yeah he's got a fitness problem so so I might not put him in. Let's see if they want to put someone else in instead of Emery. Brannigan Brannigan's probably the best fit. Now this tactic doesn't make me when you click on here it doesn't make me this skin sorry doesn't make me want to click on this person flick over straight away. So that's slightly annoying about this skin. So I have to actually manually do it. Uh, so Henri. Henri. I keep thinking he's a uh, Thierry Henri. He's not. He's Henry. I keep thinking he's French. Uh, so Gorin would probably be his logical. Oh, that worked that time. Uh, maybe it doesn't work because he's been allocated as sub bench or so. So that works. So Gorin takes over from Henry, who's um, still deserves being on the bench, actually, to be honest with you. So he will replace Agway. Uh, 
and I've got mostly most of my um, as you can see there most of my low knees are on my bench at the moment I'm giving Eastwood another chance uh, but Zega will take over yeah the skin looks good here doesn't it Sega will take over um, if Eastwood's form drops. In real life, by the time I was recording this, Eastwood was dropped for the Oxford side. He was being replaced by Jack Stevens, who's down there, but he's currently injured at the moment. Um, so let's see what happens again against Peterborough here. Again, um, this this tie could go either, either way. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what happens. Now, one thing I might do, actually, is Liam Miller is... As you saw in the previous part, he was scoring loads of goals. I might actually um, swap him for Matty Taylor and drop Matty Taylor, which is a bit of a shock. But no, 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 let's keep him. Let's keep him and see what happens. All right, so we've got Eastwood and Gull, then Ruffles, Atkinson, Moore. Claire Moore is being wanted by other clubs. No surprise there. Gorham and then Brannigan, then uh, Shatipu, O'Reilly and Ford. Ford coming into this position, he's benefited from this new tactic because we haven't got many attacking midfield rights around. We've got a few, but not too many. I think it's between him and Henry. Henry, even. I'm going to keep calling him Henry, aren't I? Um, and then Taylor up front. Let's see how we do then. Um, if we get knocked out of the cup, then that won't be the worst scenario for us. We've done very well to get to the third round of the uh, Carabao Cup or the League Cup, as I still call it. This is, of course, this is the only cup that Oxford has won, other than uh, going up the leagues. They actually won the Milk Cup, as it was called, in 1986, beating QPR 3-0. Uh, nothing to lose here. Yeah, we've got nothing to lose indeed. So let's see how we get on. One thing I might do to... Uh, here we go. We're at Peeper's Ground. So one thing I might do is actually uh, let's put the crowd to put some noises on for you. So no crowd noise actually surprising. You're just hearing the uh, kicking the balls. Oh, there we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. So five minutes in the game. Um, as you can see, it's a riveting game at the moment. <laughs> Rodriguez. I'm turning the crowd sound off. <laughs> I'm just thinking when I talk, uh, you might not be, you might not hear me. You just hear the crowd noise. The crowd noise is good, um, but when you're doing sort of like fast highlights, uh, it goes, it does odd things. But anyway, back to the game. Peterborough nil, Oxford nil. We've only just ten minutes into this game at the moment, so it's really early days yet. Josh Ruffles, one of our long-term players, on the left wing there. Then Shatabu. I one day will pronounce his name right, I'm sure of it. But this is a good counter-attack by the Peterborough players. Dembele, oh this is a great play by Dan, that's a great goal by Dembele. Oh dear, not the best starts for Oxford. 1-0 to Peterborough then. Now of course, if you're known to my serious parts here, I've got this, yeah, and it's this, I've got this kind of little mini bug in my Football Manager game that, um, I've actually told this to Sports Interactive, they haven't come back to me, that this score things here sticks and nothing's been solved yet if, despite the patches that we have had oh that's a goal 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 is that a goal oh it's been disallowed you're joking is it me or does on football manager 21 a lot more disallowed goals now a lot for us mostly there seems to be a lot more penalties for us, but we seem to be a lot more disallowed goals as well for us, our side. But that's one, that's a disallowed goal. I thought we were going to strike back there, but it's still Peterborough 1, Oxford 0. Uh, it's a very tight game though. I'm going to change this to attacking, change to demand more. Come on, Oxford, you can do it. Shudabo is running down the left wing here. He needs to cross the ball because Peterborough, yeah, Rodriguez, 
Brannigan, come on, come in. Taylor, no, that's a corner. Corner to the use here in this cup game. Brannigan takes the corner then, crosses the ball into and straight to the gear, uh, the goalie for him. So still nil, pretty for one, Oxford nil. Our XG rating is 0 0.29, which is pretty low, actually. Um, I'm hoping that gets to close over one at least to make sure that shows that the tactic kind of is working. Ford, Brannigan, still early days in this tactic, obviously. Uh, Shetapu, Ruffles, Ruffles into the box, crosses the ball into the box, straight to the goalie. We seem to be the final touch again, but we are trying. We definitely have creating chances, which is good to see, but we're just not scoring them. Ruffles, Brannigan, Ford, no, wasteful chance there by Ford. Yeah, XG rating for them is 3.4, us is 0 0.36, so this this is not the, the game's predicting a very low score game here, which is not good for us. Um, we're approaching half time now, and it's still Peterborough, thanks to that real good one-man goal. 1-0 one up. Ward. Shoot. Oh, that's two. Looks like Oxford's cup campaign is going to be over. Peterborough 2, Oxford nil. So this formation isn't working very well in this game. It's like we're completely gone different to what we were in the league game against Sunderland. We dominated that game, and here we seem to be some completely different, oddly. And that can't be blamed on the player changes we've made. Oh dear, Moore, that's terrible defensive header. Dembele, straight to Eastwood. Half time then, Peter 2, Oxford nil. Doesn't look like we're going to progress, sadly, to the next round of the cup. Um, yeah, we didn't do very well at all. So let's look at the, the players that performed and not performed. Taylor is not having a good game, so Liam Miller will be coming on. And to be honest, Matty O'Reilly is not having a very good game either. So Samuelson, who actually scored in the Sunderland game as a substitute, comes on. And Sean Clare's having a stinker of a game as well. <laughs> Okay, so we start the second half. So this is um, a nap formation, which is nap is very good tactician, um, but you see this these formations being tested on other YouTubers, but they always test it with big sides. So oh, I'm testing it with Man United, and surprisingly, Man United win the league. I'm testing it with PSG, and PSG win the league. So um, it's no real surprise it does well. I like to see. When people do YouTube tactics on testing videos, do it on real low sides with, you know, try it on some national conference sides or something like that. Like, try a tactic on Oxford City Manager, see if it really does well with um, now players not doing very well or less skilled players. But anyway, here's, oh, that was a good play by um, Oxford there, but no goal. Oh, that looks like Claire sees game is going to get even worse. He's going to be sent off for this, isn't he? No, he got booked. Okay. He's having a pretty terrible time at the right back. <laughs> now the long throw from Claire. No, nope, nothing from there. Atkinson, what are you doing? That's it. Rodriguez or Gorham. Eastwood. Atkinson. Eastwood. Samuelson, Deloney. Good play here by Shredder Oh, that's a great goal, actually, by him. That's a goal. Is that a goal this time? Goal! Actually, it was a goal. So it's not been this loud. <laughs> I don't trust this game sometimes. Shredder Yeah, he does really well there. Shoots. And that's actually a very good goal. 2-1, then. Come on. Come on, Oxford, you can do it. Let's encourage them. G rating of 0 0.69 to 0 0.78. This is definitely not turning to a game, an exciting game to watch <laughs> for the crowd. But anyway, long thrown from Ruffles. Will the long thrown do the trick? No, straight to the keeper. 
good catching practice with the keeper. So sometimes this long throwing glitch that people keep saying doesn't always work. Oh, that was terrible. Should have heard what we're doing there. So this is another counter attack. And no, what happened to last counter attack? That happened. Oh, it's disallowed. Ha ha ha. About time too. <laughs> so it's still Peterborough 2, Oxford 1. Oxford still got a chance here. If that third goal did go in for Peterborough, then you'll probably say that's their chance gone. But it was disallowed. So both sides have had disallowed. Oh, should have did badly again. What's he doing? I don't, he's, he had, he's got a really good goal, but he's rating 7.4, which is surprising. Good tackle there by uh, Ruffles. Anthony Ford, Gorham, passes to the man of the moment. We keep mentioning him all the time at the moment. Passes to Ruffles, Rodriguez, or Gorham as he's called here. Anthony Ford crosses the ball in, and it's a goal! And it's that man of that moment. Shotipo. Shotipo. I might have to change his. Uh, Ola Mindy Shotipo. Second goal of the season. That was a great goal. And really, it's from the attacking right winger. Ford passing to the attacking midfield left winger, Shotipo. And he did it. Well done. Great goal, Oxford. So we're going to change that back now to positive. Again, praise the team. Positive, so we don't open the defence to any counter-attacks. So a bit more defensive, but we're going for that goal. Brannigan, Shadipo, of course, he's one goal away from a hat-trick, isn't he? How are we doing for subs? Do we need to change around Rodriguez? Or oh, Rodriguez is suffering a bit, and he's just been booked as well. So we need to put, let's put Emery on. Emery should be all right now. Um, oh, no, this is goal. Clark Lewis, oh, great save, Eastwood. Now, if you did that in real life, Eastwood, you wouldn't be dropped. <laughs> James Henry then takes over from Gorham, who's had a good... Oh, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I keep thinking that things like that, when that thing's happened, it'd be penalties. But it's not. Of course, this game goes into extra time. Oh, that's a terrible goal kick by the Pittsburgh goalie. Anthony Ford back to Sean Clare. Nope. The, oh, our G range 1.44. You can see we're doing all right, actually. So this game is very likely going to go to extra time unless we can score a goal in the last few minutes of the game here. Anthony Ford, Sean Clare. Sean Clare into the box. Oh, no one's there. Josh Ruffles, will it be up to him? Will it be under up? Uh, Henry. Henry shoots, he scores! That's the third goal. Oxford have goal! come back. What a second half for Oxford. Peterborough 2, Oxford United 3. Henry, the substitute, has come in and scored. The second game in a row, a substitute has come in and scored a goal. This time it's Henry, who is not fully fit, but what a goal that was. And Ruffles was the assist. I wish they put assists on these screens, but they don't. So that's 3-2. And you can see that we were 2-0 behind at half time. So I'm going to put balance now. I'm even making my players... Actually, let's, let's go up to cautious. Oh, Henry's injured again. No. Oh my god. Oh no, his Saunders. This, no, this is not. This is Smudge. And it's a save by Eastwood. Remember, Eastwood's had some really good saves. His rating is 6.9 in this game. Oh, poor Henry. He's going to get injured again. <laughs> Henry's come. Andrew, Henry was injured in the last game. We, he then got fit. We then put him in. And now he's got injured again. Poor Henry. But he did score that goal. Samuelson, could this be the killer blow for the U's? No, he's decided to pass back. Henry, who will be missing the next league game, I'm guessing. Brannigan, back to Henry. No, Henry's decided to go backwards. Remember, this is a cautious approach now. Oxford are just wasting time, basically, which they're entitled to. Josh Ruffles, what's he going to do? Ruffles crosses the ball to Shudapro, who's had, in the end, a really good game. 8.2 rating, actually. So two goals and 8.2 rating. Really good game for Shudapro. I wish I just pronounced his name better. But Oxford are just last few minutes of the game. Who um, is Oxford going to get to the fourth round? Or is Peterborough in the last minute of added time? It happened twice against Sunderland in the last league game, remember. No, Oxford managed to stop that. Liam Miller, who's been very quiet this half, actually. Everyone else is scoring goals. He hasn't. So Anthony Ford, who's had a good game. 
Brannigan. Oh, that could have been four. That could have been it. Brannigan has had a solid game, and so has uh, Shudapo. Shudapo's definitely been the man in the moment, and Eastwood with those two really good saves. A seven rating for a goalie, which is pretty, pretty rare, I guess. But this is still Peterborough. We've still got 30 seconds of the game. What? He scored! Oh, no! Oh, no! 3 or Oxford have again let a goal go in in the 94th minute. Oh, God, no. Oh, we go straight to a penalty shootout. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Oh, no. Oh, well. That's football manager for you. So, we have to watch this penalty shoot. And literally the last kick of the game, Peterborough scored. That's football manager for you, isn't it? And again, we conceded the goal in the ninth minute. And that was cautious. That was cautious formation as well. And that happened. Even cautious doesn't work sometimes. So, here we go then. Good luck out there. I don't think they're heroes. We should remember Peterborough are the same league as us. Elliot Moore takes the first penalty then. Our defender against their goalie. He sh stands up, he shoots. Oh my god, that's not a good start, is it? That is a terrible penalty. Clark Harris then for Peterborough. Peterborough score. Claire then, Sean Claire, our right back. Oh, he saves. We're going to be knocked out. It looks like, I'm afraid, the it's the fairy tale Cup run is going to be... Well, fairy tale Cup run, third round, is going to be over. Two shocking penalties. To be honest, Oxford have got to score. If they don't score this, they are out. And and then Peterborough... Oh, sorry, Peterborough got to score, don't they? Yep, and rescores at last. Oh, dear. But... Uh, this Peterborough player who I can't pronounce the name. If he scores, Peterborough through. They are. Peterborough have scored. Oh, the game's carrying on. I suppose you have to. Ox. Ah, oh, yeah, I know what's happening. Oxford have got to keep. Have got to score this. If they miss, then um, we're out. Brannigan then needs to score. He does. Now, Peterborough need to score this, and they're through, if I'm right. Reed's going to take the penalty. Um, yeah, if they score this, they're through, because we can't equal their total. If Reed takes his penalty, and to be honest, Peterborough have scored all their penalties at the moment, and they're Peterborough through, Oxford are out. Oh, dear. Again, by conceding the goal in the 90th minute. Uh, that's heartbreaking. They scored in the 95th minute. Uh, we were the underdogs. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I think you should have won that. So, we're out of the cup, I'm afraid. We lost, we drew 3-0 with Peterborough and we, yeah, that's heartbreaking. We lost in the 95th minute. Henry's out again for another four days. Says he would step up and take penalty shot despite his crucial miss. Oh, you, okay, good on you, Claire. Shodipo, well done. Great performance by you. Um, two goals. I will praise him. He did really well. You were superb. Well done. And that's it. And that is it of the end of the episode. Sorry it ends in a bit of a null moment, but... We're out of the cup. Our next game is against Acton Stanley. Uh, next part you'll probably see. Um, we'll probably go right up to the um, first round of the FA Cup or even later than that. But thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please, 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 please comment or send likes because um, this series is kind of struggling <laughs> a bit in views. <laughs> um, I'm trying my best to promote this as much as possible. Um, but please, any comments, any advice on how to do this series is greatly appreciated. Um, thanks for watching this anyway. Um, greatly appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Um, stay safe, everyone. Goodbye for now.